Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some desoldering tricks for disassembling slime VR trackers. These can be difficult to do for a beginner, but they do involve a minimal amount of specialist tools. I wouldn't expect learners to do these tricks first try, but at least you can see how to do it here. First I'm going to rake this IMU to remove it from the pin header. I heat each pin in turn, and then I start raking the iron up and down the pins until they all flow at the same time. Adding extra solder makes this easier, as there'll be more thermal mass to hold the heat. Next I use some wick to clear the holes of solder. A mechanical solder sucker is also a good option here. I add extra flux to make the solder flow better. Lastly, I can use isopropyl alcohol to clean the board of flux residue. Now I'll use the same technique for this D1 Mini. This is much harder with two sets of pins, so I'm going to use a prying tool to apply constant lift on from the underside of the module. I occasionally add some extra solder for more thermal mass. This is very rough on the module, but with enough persistence you can remove it. Once again, I'll wick the holes clear. Raking also works in reverse. You can use it to fit a module where the holes aren't fully clear or the pin headers are dirty. As a demonstration of tools that make this easier, here I'm using a hot air station to cleanly remove an IMU. You should heat the back of the carrier PCB for this. IMUs don't like the high heat of a hot air station. As an alternative to wicking, a desoldering gun makes easy work of sucking solder out of holes.
All of this is rough on the tracker parts, but despite putting the D1 especially through some rough treatment, after reassembly all of these parts still worked.